I think one of the most enjoyable things is when you start to feel like a filmmaker. And it's like you're feeling like a visual storyteller and a film storyteller. And it's, it, it's an exciting feeling, especially when you catch yourself within that, even in everyday life. Um, one of the things I think is like you'll walk around a corner. And as you walk around a corner, you'll catch yourself like it's a camera movement as you move around that corner. And it's a fascinating thing because your brain's starting to think like that and it's starting to see things of how that would project and how that would look as you're going around a corner or something like that or walking down a hallway or walking down steps or if you stop on the steps and you think like, how would that look from across the street? Would that be a good angle from across the street for a certain kind of visual? Um, that's an exciting thing as a filmmaker when you start... And that means the stuff you're learning is starting to click in your head and become second nature. And I think the more and more you do that, and I've found this through experience, and I'll take for an example, this past weekend I recorded a ton of content for, for my TikTok, and which you can check out our TikTok uh, link. If you go to TikTok, Ten Universe on there, our uh, TikTok channel is under Ten Universe. And it's called Ticked Off, and we do, like, you know, very micro, episodic uh, filmmaking on there. And I recorded, like, 8 or 12, I, th I can't remember total. I think there's two I'm probably not going to use, but they're, like, let's say 8. Uh, and I released, like, 5 of them, I think, over the weekend. But as I was doing that, my head just totally got, you know, tuned, totally cranked in and to making content and uh, uh, filmmaking content and I think one of the biggest examples that I can give personally is uh, audio when you start to craft the audio for your, your work and like in the beginning especially and some filmmakers do this all the time and there's nothing wrong with it uh, your, your audio is going to be what you record like right now, I'm doing right here the audio is through my phone and that's cool because a lot of times you don't have external mics or anything so but you need extra audio cues and audio sounds and everything else and you start to build a library like and now you can do stuff like on, on, on different audio you can buy different audio packages from places or subscriptions and those are great and you can use those but I think when you're just filming and the only audio you're using is what's within the, the camera or the mic you're using in that moment, I think you don't get that audio, like, uh, art artistic, artistic feeling there quite as much as when you start using audio that you, you build a library for, or recording stuff, or doing Foley, which is really cool learning thing that every, every maker should learn how to do. So as you're buying a, a audio clips and audio stuff to use and you're making your own library and putting all that together, I think when you, you start adding those things, especially if you're recording your own, it begins to click more in your head that every action has an audio to it. Even if it's a very small sound, every action. So I think sometimes you get to feel like you turn on a light switch, you... you uh, open up a door you all this stuff like you turn on the coffee pot put it in all these sound effects that somebody like Edgar Wright has used to be very loud in in some of his movies or other people like Kevin Smith I've seen him he did that in Clerks 2 I think with the, when they first go to the Mobies and stuff and they're opening the store like you can do that very well but once you start making your own clips of audio there I think it starts to click in your brain a little bit more that what you're doing is crafting that audio for that and you'll start noticing all the things and once you start noticing them you'll see how much of a tool they are that if this sound happens it'll add that much more and if this sound happens off off screen even it'll add that much more so I think it's one of the things like I've learned 
is not only with the repetition and, and doing the craft, the more it comes second nature, but also with the ways in which you start to build your library and your, your, your skills is also going to help things become second nature because when you when you focus and decide to record a microwave going on as much as you could just have that microwave sound in that library that you bought online once you record it yourself and you sit there and do it and what clicks in your head that oh if I'm using something like that even if it's not on screen like I said on the side and, and off screen It'll tell you that somebody's like making something in the microwave. There's somebody else in that room even. And those will help build upon your story. And I'm not talking here like I have all the answers. It's just something that over this weekend, like I talked about when I was making a bunch of stuff and was really excited about this feeling within me of I was so tuned in to making things that my brain just started, everything was about like ways of filming it and stuff and it was a really cool feeling so I thought I would share that really cool feeling and uh, with everybody here and I hope everybody gets to make stuff if you do film art or anything hope during the, the week you get to make some stuff so and if it's a little bitty things those can be just as cool as anything else like I said these micro films I make are in between other big projects so, I got something else to announce before I end this because it's already almost seven minutes. We just cast the lead and, and finalized the casting of the lead and the Real Trees Halloween special, which is cool. It's going to come out Halloween night. And Harlequin Arts uh, cosplay is going to be uh, the lead in it, which will be really awesome. I'm going to put links to her stuff down below so everybody can check out her work. So I'm really excited about working with her. I actually recorded a podcast with her, which you can go over to Tim Pod Radio and listen to that. So the episode of uh, uh, Cosplay Lighthouse. So I talked to her before. It was really cool and wanted to work with her later in this. This role come up. And she was actually recommended to me by somebody who never knew we'd actually talked before. Uh, so it was great having somebody else, you know, think. Oh, this person is pretty cool and stuff like that. So that's gonna be coming out. And like I said, check out the our, our TikTok. It's Ten Universe. Uh, we got some cool stuff going on there. A lot of bloody Halloween stuff, and it's gonna get even more bloody probably. Uh, doing more effects and stuff like that. And so this month we got more of those. We got comic pages coming out this month. Audio stuff coming out this month. So ramping up for Halloween. Everybody have a good one. I'll see everybody later.